No, ha, 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 ha. Hey everyone, welcome to Meridian 157 Chapter 3. The final chapter that will conclude it all. We're gonna probably go to the source of the anomaly that we've been trying to get to this whole time. Very excited to see it concluded. This title screen is very cool. I can't wait. Let's start. Previously on Meridian 157. We traveled so far just to track down this anomaly. We've done so much. Crashed a train. There it goes. Into the mines. Which was awesome. Look how cool that looks. I would love to go through a mine. <laughs> I, I'm one of those people who watches mine walkthroughs on YouTube. And you just follow some people who like explore an abandoned mine and it's just like a walk like walk through literally They just walk through a mine and then they're like, whoa, look at that. And then oh, that's a dead end Let's go back. We'll try the other corridor. And it's like just that it's like super chill people just walking around And they find like old helmets and stuff and It's cool. I like that kind of stuff. Nothing happens, but it's cool. Ah, oh, and this looks cool. Do we have anything on us? Nothing, okay. We have a trusted camera, same as always. Let's go in. Oh, <laughs> wrench, ooh, good start. Wires damaged, must be why the lights aren't working in here. Well, I don't have a light. Must be what supplies power to the lights here. Okay, but we can't actually interact with it. Lights aren't working, can't see a thing. Do you think the car maybe has a flashlight or something? Oh, look at that. Starter cables. Do you think we can... Can I go to the front of the car? I was. I thought we were gonna hook up the car battery, but maybe we're just gonna do this. Nice. This is frozen solid. Encased in ice. Okay. We'll need fire. Ooh. Do we need to... Hmm. Fix these on? Do we need to find these? Ah. Okay. We need a certain weight on there. Door's locked. I'm not surprised. You have a wrench though, and there's windows here. That's what I would do. What's that? Whoa. Okay. Need to find two symbols. Ooh, I have a wrench. won't work. Can't see to grip the screws with this tool. Really? Isn't that literally what you can do with a wrench? You just tighten it around the bolt and turn it? Are you being serious right now? You can go to the train station. But there was also the main entrance. What's that? Propane tank. From the weight of it, I'd say there's still a fair amount of fuel left. Nice. Lucky. Boxes come off as being stacked this way deliberately. Mmm. Yeah, I see what you're doing. It's a code. What's this for? Ooh, specific type of key needed. Mmm. Okay, to the train station! Hello. The boxes. Oh. Okay, so dark. Wait, they don't stay. Okay, I just need to write this down. I can't go between the picture and that and remember the whole thing. Not that big brain. Okay. Okay, how am I gonna do this? So we want this one dark.
Uh huh. Okay, that one's good now. There. There. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I it's all it's this specific these specific games that like you put in the solution and then you have to wait like a full second where you're like doubting yourself like did I do it right is it not right is nothing happening and then clicks oh, such a delayed satisfaction delayed gratification the water's being electrified by that fuse box I need to be careful hmm huh. uh, I want that though I'll need to find a way to to traverse the water safely. Maybe we need welly boots. Piece of pipe. Uh, it's a piece of pipe. The other parts must be around here somewhere. Let's find them. The barrels have long since been emptied. Old supplies, nothing useful. Ooh, hello. Uh huh. Interesting. Let's put that one there. I wonder if it's one of these things where there's only one solution. Although, this one is stuck here and I don't see any pieces that do this bit unless I can't turn them right <gasps> oh oh shit okay mm. okay how do I do this It doesn't change anything. Oh, tricky. Oh, this is really tricky. They nailed this shot exactly at the right place. Honestly, I think this piece would have been better. Because if I can just get this one here, then I'm already in. Although... Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's better to do... It, put it down there? How do I do that? Oh, I do have an idea. Huh. Huh. Okay... Oh my god. Okay, I did it. To get another key. Thank you. Oh yeah. Can I look at this? Okay. Strong start. Now what did I skip here? What's down here? Ooh, hello. The rust is making it impossible to open. Okay. This must be where the train would make would have taken me if I hadn't crashed into the mines. Oh god. You would have skipped the entirety of episode two. Maybe we need something for the rust. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Okay, where would I need a pipe? I need a special key for here. Where can I use a regular key? No door here. Oh! There was a station door. Yes. Nice. That looks like the special key. Nothing else there. 
Anatomy 101. What do we have here? <gasps> a symbol! Okay. Um, I know I can take a picture, but I prefer to draw. I'll take a picture anyway. There you go. Anything at the desk? Incident report. Scan, Scott, Scan Etkit. Uh, abandoned mine from Cold War. Structural collapse. While transporting the fragment from the mines into the laboratories for further research, the sample experienced a brief surge of energy. The sudden rise in power levels, which had been very low up until this point, caused a momentary lapse in the containment field, resulting in the structural collapse of a nearby mine shaft. Due to all personnel wearing protective equipment and following all security precautions, no injuries or fatalities ensued. However, mass destruction resulted to the above rail system. The fragment was also buried under the fallen rubble, however, was left undamaged after being uncovered from the debris. Until further notice, rail transport between the northern station and Lambda is strictly prohibited. As the north station is an auxiliary establishment, reconstruction of the railway will commence at a later date. A reminder will be sent out to all personnel informing them of this incident. Ah. Oh. So the collapse thing is the thing my train fell into. Anything else? Aha. Uh -huh. Picked up a nozzle. Okay. Let's see. We want this. That. A diamond. And that. And then we want a triangle that we don't have. Oh. What? Let me start from the bottom. How is that possible? Maybe it has to be switched. Huh? Ooh, maybe it was upside down. Because that's upside down. Ah! This must serve as a utility truck. Not much use on the... Sh nothing much... Oh, Willy Boots! Nothing much of use on the shelves. Ladder. Ooh. Very useful. Thank you. Uh, water. Put on them welly boots. Water's not too deep. Okay. There we go. Anything else? Nope. Hmm. Screwed in place tightly. Where'd our wrench go? Oh, here. A pipe piece. Oh, I didn't know that was what we wanted. Okay, got several pipe pieces. Let's... Let's go back. There's a couple things I can put on this weight thing. Yeah. There you go. Oh, this pipe. Oh, that's what we need them for. Haven't seen any of those gears, though. Okay, I'll leave you guys there. I'll have a peek through here. Oh, I need the weight. Oh. Okay, I need to find more then. Where are we going to find those cocks? Cocks. <laughs> Hmm. Do I need to reach ooh, up somewhere? Oh, hello. Oh, well, that 
that's another one. I still need another piece of pipe, right? I wonder if I can grab something here. Yeah, this is the train wheel. One more piece of pipe. And a gear. Hmm, so we're at 20.72 right now. Oh yeah, the ice. Can I combine these? Uh, uh, there we go. Pipe. <gasps> Lubricant. Tub of grease hasn't frozen over despite the cold. Can grease freeze, I wonder? Maybe it's unfreezable? Okay, let's go lube up some things. Like these. Not gonna work. Hmm, I thought I would. Let's go down here. Now open it. Oh, I have to open it. Oh, okay. Ah, so we want that gear down there? They go at different speeds, so they might just line up. Nope. It's probably just a matter of shimmying it, right? <gasps> yeah. Nice! Okay. That still doesn't figure out the wheel, though. Apparently the grease was a one-time thing. One-time use. So how am I gonna get that off? Can't grip the screws with this tool. A different tool. Hmm. I looked it up because I was like, how does that not work? And I just need to do, use this thing. <laughs> Is it obvious that I've never changed a tire? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Mystery solved. That one, and then that one. Collection complete. Now let's look at that weight. 46.29. 46 ah, okay. I was like, is that buzz right or wrong? I'm in. Security? Must be something around here that I can use on this scanner. Locked. I probably need to use the scanner. Okay, I need a card or something? Hmm. Okay. Scan bags here. Anything to check in? With some luck, the bag scanner will still work. I don't see where the controls are, though. Okay, so we need to check the contents of something. That must be the security office. Nothing on these. Okay, supply room. Locked. Ooh, a map. Supply room, stairwell access, yeah. Elevator at the end. Control center. Maintenance. Office spaces and the restroom. Okay. Looks like there's lots to explore. Maintenance needs a key card? Ooh. Okay. Code. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, I can open them and then there's a different symbol inside. Oh wait, aren't these like Scorpio and stuff? To a bag. Okay, we'll remember that for later. Oh, it's blocked off. Hmm. Oh. Is it six rows? Yes. Okay, so there's one square, two circles, a diamond and triangle. Hmm. Maybe I can't solve this yet. Okay. <laughs> there's my answer. I can finally make something out on the other side of the bricks. You can't hit it with the wrench. Someone intentionally tried blocking the hallway. They did a pretty good job. So we can scan the bag eventually, I'm sure. But we don't... It probably needs to be operated from the security room. So let's just leave it there. Ooh, what is this? Ah. Wait, but that one's red and red. How do I... switch tiles? Oh! I can switch these! Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm missing one. Okay, can't do it yet then. What is that? Someone hidden a secret message behind the plaster. Need to scrape it off. Mostly empty, handful of rations, nothing useful in the cabinets. Faucet handle is missing. Oh, there's a key down there. Key in the drain. Oh. Oh. Oh, so now we can flush out the key. See, it's down there. Kitchen supplies won't be useful. Okay. Ooh, puzzle! Do you not want to make it? Okay, can't use it. Nothing practical on the shelf. This must be the staircase. What is this? Oh. Oh, okay. Like, you want me to make an hourglass? No? Hmm. Guess not. Entire hallway section up ahead has collapsed. I shudder to think of how deep that drop is. Look down it! I want to see! Okay. So that's the first glance of the hallway. I wonder where we want to make a puzzle. Hmm. Oh, I lost my wrench. Do you want to put the puzzle on here? Okay. Let's puzzle. Haha. -ha. Okay. They snap together really satisfyingly. I put these on the left. I have no need for you right now. Wait, that's it? 
I guess we're missing pieces then. Hmm. We'll make do, we'll make do. Nice. Oh ho ho. There. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's triangle, diamond, square, circle, triangle, circle. Thank you. Now, where was that? Oh, here. <laughs> uh, triangle, a uh, diamond, vierkant, circle, three hook, and circle. Da na it? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's triangle, square, triangle, diamond, circle, circle. I got it, I got it. Square, triangle, diamond, circle, circle. Still not? Triangle, square, triangle, diamond, circle, circle. Unless it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not the order of the columns. Okay, so one is triangle, two is square, um, three is triangle, four is diamond, five and six are circle. There. Ah, thank you. Ooh, a card. Nice. Oh, we're in now, baby. We're in business. Can I look at the code? Number 184. That probably doesn't matter, right? Let's go to security. I'm sure it's just for that. Yee! <laughs> Another bag. Ooh, the scraper for the kitchen. Okay, we got some power. We still have power. <gasps> yes! So what do we do here? <laughs> I guess that's... <laughs> I guess that's used to the security scan. General notes about security and protocols to be authorized should, oh, should a crisis happen. Do we run the security check? Oh, maybe we need to... Oh, yeah, it's not actually plugged in. Maybe we need to have an extension cord. Let's go to the kitchen. Lots to do in there. Let's start with this one. Okay. So, let's try this first. Okay, that's good. That's very good. This is bad. Can't do that. Okay, so we've reached a problem. Hmm. Let's try this. Because there is a blue here. That works. That works. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oops. I think that's it. Yeah. Is that a faucet? D 
Do we not have water? Oh. Damn it. <gasps> oh. Oh, it's upside down. See that? Eight, two, five, nine, six. Maybe that's for security? Maintenance, I mean? Yes! Ha ha ha! And an extension cord! Woo woo woo! Some large pipes. This must be where they controlled water usage around the facility. Uh, what kind of flavor do you want? British? Russian? Is that the Russian flag? I don't know. Japanese? American? American's only grade 6 though, so... Don't know about that. There must be times. Like if America is 6 o'clock, then something else. <laughs> These kind of pipes always immediately make me think of Bioshock. Well, that's not enough, is it? Can we solve this? The red pipe from the start? Oh my god, dude. I already forgot that existed. Can I pick all of that up again? Ah, times. Okay. New York 402. Tokyo 502 London in it 903 and Moscow it is Russia 11 okay so it is powered actually I just powered this not the other way around oh well let's go back and grab those pipes all the way from downtown Why not, right? Might as well have it on me then. Okay, so that one might be good here. Not really. It's right there. Wait, you're one part? Oh, stink. This is not a thing, is it? Maybe I wish to do this later. I don't even know if I can use that. Okay. So it says New York 4, but here it says 6. So I'm not sure. Let's just try London 9, Moscow then 11, and Japan 5. 3, 4, 5. So if America is six, maybe it's plus two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so this is solvable. It switched these pieces that are identical. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I can like put this one down a bit like that. That would definitely connect more, but what to do with this one? Oh, I keep forgetting that that's two parts, or only one part. There! Wait, do you think that something works now? Oh, maybe the water in the kitchen! <laughs> Yeah. Key. Oh, this feels so Silent Hill, doesn't it? I was um I got Sean to play through Silent Hill a little bit over Christmas, but he was too overwhelmed by the game, so we did the school and then after that he was like, I don't wanna play anymore and I was like, Oh but it was so cool. Okay, we have a key. Uh, 
Are you the... Oh, the key to the supply room. I got a hammer. Apart from some tools I can't really use, the shelf is mostly barren. You sure? Looks like there's stuff. Really don't feel like lugging around a bunch of cement bags. Mm. But what if you need it? Okay. Oh, the hammer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Let's go to the offices. Mm -hmm. What's this? Okay, that's the lockers, but we need to know which ones are open and which ones are closed. Oh, here we go. I guess I have nothing better to do in here than write this down. I was working late into the night just after starting my night shift when I heard a deep rumbling sound starting out quietly before getting quickly louder. Based on how loud it became, I wouldn't be surprised if it was heard all around the island. Soon after, the commotion started outside and people were rushing around in a panic. A soldier shouted that an immediate evacu evacuation was ordered and that everyone was to make their way back outside towards the designated evacuation area. Making my way out of the facility, I noticed a crowd gathered around the main entrance. Before I asked what was going on, I noticed that the main bulkhead door was closed and every attempt to open it by the surrounding workers was in vain. That's when I heard a woman start screaming and everyone in the crowd fell into mass hysteria. I ran back into this office and along with three others managed to barricade the door. I'm stuck in here now waiting for someone, anyone, to rescue us. The next day... After things seemed to have settled down in the hallways, I got to know the other three people stuck in here with me. Although all four of us are new here and haven't stepped foot in the restricted part of this f faculty facility, one of the others mentioned that they heard the soldiers refer to what happened as a breach. However, all of the chaos happened soon after and he wasn't able to hear more, much more than that. What could they mean by that? Although everything's gone eerily silent, I can occasionally hear faint sounds out in the hallways. Along with occasional shuffling, I can also make out other, more unsettling noises. I think I'll refrain from calling out to them. One of the guys trapped in here, Aaron, has begun complaining of hearing faint whispers coming from outside. Although we tried keeping him calm, he finally snapped. He locked the dumbwaiter axis and tore the wire to the control panel, stating that he needed to permanently lock it out of fear of something crawling down the shaft from the mess hall. We then restrained him after he started yelling uncontrollably. The mood here has become much more hostile over the past couple of days. The other two scoff at me for writing this down, but I don't care anymore. My mind keeps wandering back to Lily and what she told me before I left. Although she believed I was going to France as part of a new government initiative, she always told me that she had a very bad feeling about this new position and that I shouldn't accept it. Why didn't I listen to her? After being awake for three full days, my exhaustion got the best of me and I dozed off. I awaken to find myself all alone in her here. The others have vanished. I now hear the whispers that Aaron referred to. I just hadn't listened closely enough the first time. I hear them relentlessly now. There's a wall of darkness on the far side of the office that, while it frightened me at first, now fills me with comfort the longer I stare at it. It's slowly approaching me and I can't help but wonder what will happen if I enter. Somehow I feel the embrace of death isn't what awaits me on the other side. Damn, that's well written. I like that. Okay, computer's busted. Change your perspective. There we are. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so from the left, we should see a blue and white locker. From the right, we can only see blue and green. Yeah. And then from the top, one of each row should be open, but we don't know which one. Ooh, that's a fun puzzle. Place has been ransacked. Mm, no power. That's the dumbwaiter. Mm. Okay. Let's see. So, blue and white. Okay, so the top row, only blue is open because the view is not obstructed. And that means that these are open. There we go. That should be it. Um, so M. 
each. I know they're not pronounced like that, but I don't, I don't know. Taurus and Virgo, whatever. Those kind of things. You know what I mean? That it? Yes! Another bag. Okay, but how do I scan them? Man, people really went crazy in here. It's just mass panic. I wonder if the whispers are from the dark entity and it's just like in the vents and stuff and they can hear it. Okay, let's go back to the start. I thought I was going to be able to... Yeah, do this. How do I start to scan? There must be an on button somewhere. Some luck, the back scanner will still work. I don't see where the controls are. Okay. <laughs> They're in. Oh, look at that. Now it works. I just have to be on there. Wait, this is simple there. Okay, I see symbols, but... Oh! Oh, they're for different doors. I forgot that that was there. So we have symbols for three doors now. And this one... Oh... Ah, I see now. Okay. Um, I'll take pictures of that. Green, a red, and blue. Okay, probably a door for each like level of security. Okay, so we go here, all around to here. Oh, I can't go through the old one. Then how do I do this? Oh wait, and not this one. Oh, then I can do it. No, I can't. I was gonna do this, but then I'm still missing this one. Ah, I figured it out. Oh my god. Oh, now I have to do the other ones. Oh, I see. Uh, so you're this one. Okay. So it's this and then this one as well. Hmm. Maybe if I go like that. That's it. Nice. And then green. Yeah. Missing one again. Aha! 
I was like, what if I start with the one that I keep missing? <laughs> that worked. Staircase leading down collapsed entirely. Going down won't be an option. Second floor. The chasm extends all the way up to this floor, although it doesn't look as severe as the destruction below. Must be something around here that can fit the slot. Okay. The padlock looks to be in good shape. I'll need the key. Storage boxes, room of service, supply room. Nothing of value. Okay. Let's see. Residences. So the mess hall's to my right. Maybe the dumbwaiter is there? Then we have a locker room, residences one, two, and three, and in the corner, a washroom. Half-eaten meals are strewn across the tables, almost as, almost as if everyone suddenly vanished. Ooh, a dollar coin. That'll be handy. So close, the coin is slightly too large. Ooh, maybe we can file it down. Nothing else in there? Empty. Nothing happened. Oh, I didn't mean to. Someone tried to take this off, but was only partial, su partially successful. Uh, no. It could work. I would try it. Ooh, a glow stick. B4. How expensive is it? How expensive is B4? Okay, how much was it though? 275, okay. How about the return slot? Empty. Oh, maybe we're gonna find three $1 coins and then we get 25 cents and then that we can use to open the thing. Nothing I can s wait. Nothing from I can see is stuck down. Okay. It doesn't unlock. Oh. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Oh. Wait, it's on the other side. But I can't clean it. Hmm. I think this is mirrored. So this should be this one. And that's like that one, maybe? Hard to see, though. Oh, they do go both ways. Oh, boy. Kitchen must have seen lots of use back in the day. Now it all appears disused for years. Cupboards are filled with food. Hmm. The lights aren't working down the hallway for some reason. Too dark to go see? I would just shuffle through it, but I guess that's just me. Oh, you want the glow stick? I see. Hmm. We can definitely- I've definitely done that. I've definitely wedged a scissor to get a screw. <laughs> huh. 
Huh, do we need to cut something with the scissors? What do we got? Is there anything else I still need to do around here? <gasps> I didn't see that! Oh my god. Oh no. Where's the third one that I missed then? Oh, we can do this? Oh shit. Is there anything I can use to clean this? Guess not. Let's see. But oh, that X was good. Okay, so these little S things, these definitely only go in that direction. So it makes me wonder if it's mirrored, which makes it extra tricky. So it's like it's pressed into it, right? So this one's that, but then what is this? Could be that one. Or that one. Then this one's just illegible. Hmm. Wait, they're not identical. How did I think that? Oh my good. Okay, so the bottom row is good. How is this so clear for them? How is he seeing the whole thing and I don't see the whole thing? I have nothing to clean it with, do I? And it doesn't say I need a cleaning solution, it just assumes that I have it. Weird. I think it's solved. Oh, I did do it right. I still don't really know how I'm supposed to... <laughs> like why that their version is clean and mine isn't. Oh, there was another key in it. A key for what? Is this door locked? Barricaded. Hmm. Oh, is it for the padlock? Nice. Locking pliers. What are they for exactly? Do you think they'll fit around this? Ooh! That they do. Long wooden beam. Shelves are filled with canned food and sacks of grain. Better not, I'm on a diet. <laughs> Here's another wooden beam. I think if I was in this situation, I would eat whenever I need anything. I don't think I'd be like, hmm, gotta watch my weight. Nice. Haha! -ha. Office. Hello. Got some money? Ooh, brief history. Throughout the 1960s, various reports emerged of fishermen disappearing off the southern coast of Alaska. After a quick expedition into the surrounding waters, the Flare Project was established in 1971 following the discovery of a small unnamed island with unusual properties. Construction of the Flare facility commenced in the same year and after its completion in 1975, research into these anomalous properties was soon underway. The source of the anomaly was discovered deep underground, approximately 230 meters beneath the surface and roughly in the island's geographic center. Labeled as the artifact, not much is known about its origin. 
However, it is theorized that it originates from outer space based on multiple reports of a bright red meteor that struck down in what is believed to be the island's general location in 1865. Research and, and research and experimentation was initially focused on the containment of the artifact. However, later on shifted to how to utilize its unique properties. Mm -hmm. Flare. The Flare facility is perhaps the most complex scientific research station of the planet. In addition to the most advanced scientific and engineering equipment, the facility also benefits from the largest geothermal plant in the world, powering all stations around the island and allowing for fully self-sufficient operations. Complex underground rail system to transport goods and personnel all around the island. Large dedicated team of scientists and engineers in collaboration with a classified branch of the military to provide the most sophisticated research, experimentation and security available. Security is of the highest concern at Flare. Continuation of the project depends on its confidentiality and therefore rigorous protocols are put in place to ensure that it remains as such. Strict screening and psychological testing is routinely conducted on all personnel to confirm their loyalty and credibility to the project. Perhaps the biggest testament to Flare's effective security operations was its ability to remove the island from, the most, from most world maps through substantial international effort. Flare incorporates many departments, all of which provide vital contributions to the project. Each department benefits from a vast array of qualified personnel from all backgrounds who together manage all the operations carried out around the island. Okay. Chief Overseer, Biology, Chemistry, Physics, Engineering, Technology, Physician, Psychologist, Construction, Excavation, Exploration, and Military. We look forward to having you on board and are sure that you will achieve great things here at the Flare Project. Hmm. Nothing too revealing. Hey, the coin. Nice. Another broken computer. Hmm. Not quite sharp enough to cut through. I should find both halves. Okay. Missing a keyboard? <laughs> I need to find a keyboard. Okay. Nothing else. Let's go get our snacks. This way. Yes. B4. B4, please. Thank you. Picked up a quarter. Picked up a flare. Glow stick. Glow stick, not a flare. Different thing. Now let's see if my theory was correct. Oh my god! Don't you just love it when you're right? And I got scissors. Thank you. Whoa. 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 I'm not ready for that. I misclicked. I wanted to go here. <laughs> Scary. I got scissors. Hello. Keyboard! Do you work now? Ah, oh, computer password. What's the hint? Huh? A, B, C. G F E A B C D E F G A B C D E F G H E Y H How is that the hint? Hmm. Maybe we need a a code word to start with. What's this do? How much power do we want? Hmm. Maybe we need to have a certain pattern. Okay, now let's go to the creepy corridor. Here we go. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, hey, look at that. Thank you. 
Nothing else? No wonder the lights don't work. The entire ceiling has collapsed. Is there anything you want to grab? No? Hmm. I kind of wish there was more to that section. Now what do we do? Can't solve it yet. Okay. There's more to find. Could it be anything on here? Flare, maybe? Oh, the areas. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I think if you follow the instructions, it'll be a number on the map. That's some exit the game shit right there. Okay, so A, B, C is one. G, F, E, seven. J, I, H, J. J, I, H, J, zero. And I, H, G, F, D. I, H, G, F, D. So five. Yeah! Oh, what is wrong with those dice? Seven and six, weirdly. Population facility. Hmm. 125. Poultry beef, fish, bread, milk, cheese, eggs, coffee, oatmeal, whistleblowers. Wait, which one's older? This one. Patient transfer requests. Status of patient Keith Hoffman has deteriorated further over the past 72 hours. The physical symptoms described on Monday have all worsened and all of our medical procedures have proven ineffective. In addition, the patient has begun developing severe psychological trauma in response to his brief exposure to the artifact. Ah, uh, maybe that's the shadow person, claiming that the being with red eyes watches and whispers to him out of the corner of his vision. Keith! As requested, I obtained proof that two of my subordinates, William and Desmond, have caught on to our shift towards weaponizing the artifact, and they are indeed planning on revealing everything they know to the public when they return back to the mainland in six months. How should I proceed with handling them? Is there anything? No, I think that's it. Hmm. These might be hints for later. Fuse box. Really? Okay, let's have a look then. I see. So that's one dice. And then you want two at the bottom. There. That should be it. Yeah! Elevator works! Ooh, what's that? Keycard reader. Transport cart. Various boxes and crates. Um, I still have my card, right? Yeah. So we're on floor two, residence. Can we go to the lab? Level 5 access required. Okay. What about... 1. That should take me to the offices. Oh, unable to communicate. Hmm. How can I get this elevator working again? Uh, can we upgrade our card reader? card, I mean? Maybe if we hook up this card reader to this computer. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nice. Highest security. <laughs> Thank you. That was easy. Didn't even need a password or anything. No signature. No sign off. Now take me to the lab. Does it work? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. One. And... Zero. Nice. Let me just get my card. Oh. Can always back. Okay. I figured I might need it for a door, but... Okay. I'll leave them here for now. Oh, nice. Guess I didn't need all those other objects anymore. Section one. Ooh, what is this? Oh, dear lord. Okay. That's something, all right. Hopefully nothing too useful is in that section. Getting past the debris would be impossible. Hee <laughs> hee, look at this little car. Screwed shut and I have nothing. Oddly enough, some of those crates look military. Why is the military involved in this place? I mean, we already knew the military was here. Let's go in here first. Grab that broom. Button controls the communication line, which by the looks of it won't be online anytime soon. Okay, where are we? Oh, section two, section three. Must be getting close to the source. That might come in handy. Nothing else there. Pitch black in there, too bad the glow stick gave out. Yeah. Okay. Bulkhead door, what could be behind it? I only have a broom. <laughs> broom, broom. Could use some cleaning. Maybe something is hidden on the floor somewhere? Man, I tried to click everywhere, and I still didn't click here. Oh my god. Okay. Uh-huh. I knew I had to clean somewhere, but I just couldn't figure out where. Hmm, three looks weird. Three has like horizontal lines going through it, I think. So if one is this. So two is a combination of three of them. So five is vertical lines and this. Although I don't think two is that. Hmm. There. Yeah. Figured it out. Nice. I'm in. Medical wing. I have nothing. Chain shut, however, the padlock doesn't look too strong. Perhaps I can find a way to weaken it. Acid. Pour some acid on it. Oh man, they blocked this as well. Anything useful in here? Candy wrappers discarded bottles and old newspaper in 1997. Big lighter. Okay, empty though. Maybe a crowbar. 
This feels like a hallway from uh, observation duty. <laughs> Ooh, number lock. Okay. For the tool shed, tool thingy. Acid, corrosive agent. Mix the following inside a one liter flask ethanol, glucose, and an oxidizing agent like potassium. Exactly 200 grams, otherwise, the reaction will fail. Boil it, add the catalyst to the chemical solution in a well ventilated area. Catalyst? Oh, and then one of these. Okay. Those are cells, I guess. Strange structure. It doesn't look similar to any chemical I'm familiar with. Well, it just looks like... Oh, specimen two. It just looks like nothing to me. <laughs> okay, here we can boil things. Any microscopes in here? Flammable. Oh. Okay, can't solve this. This is our ventilation thing. Gotcha. This is where we weigh things. Flask. I don't see any microscopes, so... Oh god, there's so many places to go. Here's another one. Hmm. Specimen one. Animate versus inanimate reactivity with the artifact. The purpose of this report is to investigate what difference of any living versus non-living entities have when reacting to the artifact. So far, all materials have shown no interaction at the current power level. Some theorize, however improbable it may seem, that entities could react on the sole basis of being alive. Hypothesis. Like the material tests conducted beforehand, the animate organisms will display no interaction with the artifact. In other words, the state of being alive should have no effect. Inanimate tests, reaction to the various chemicals. Okay. No reaction, though. Oh, wait. Is there other pages? Spider disappeared. After bringing the spider close to the artifact inside a glass cage, the glass cage returned empty. Like the spider, the rat also vanished from its cage. A euthanized red was, rat was tested this time. The rat's body remained in the cage. Okay. Needless to say, these results are quite unexpected. The sole fact of being alive seems to affect the way the entity reacts, interacts with the artifact. These tests confirm the needs for protective equipment around the artifact, as well as the strong containment field to protect those on the observation deck. These results also have encouraging prospects to the construction of a super weapon. Above all else, these findings emphasize the need for more testing because while we know that the artifact causes living beings to vanish, why it does so and where they vanish to are still unknown. I was wondering that. I was like, maybe they go to an island or something. Hmm. Interesting. I guess that's why I have maps, huh? Because the place is so big. Um, chemical storage, potassium, nasty stuff. Just my luck, the handle of the lid came off and the lid stuck inside the barrel. Okay, yeah, I can currently have nothing for that. Suspect whatever may be behind this hatch would allow me to open this door. Okay, so we need these screws to come out. Glucose. My enemy. <laughs> mm. 
managing BB. Okay, that was that. Now we haven't gone straight yet. Ooh, server room. Colors. <gasps> oh, I should have paid more attention. Let's have a look. Uh huh. Okay, let me just draw it again. And then the other one was down here. So based on how this is shaped, weird, I need like a square, but there isn't any. This looks like the first one though. Like that. And then this one. Okay, the edges are white, connected to blue. This one connected to red. Is that correct? Oh, it is! Oh my god! Nice! Lighter fluid! Noise. Thank you. Textbooks about computers and signal processing, not exactly my idea of light reading. A blueprint of who knows, really? Yeah, who knows? I, I have no idea. Big server room. Network. Car network cars defective, all discarded. <laughs> I like that you just <laughs> insert one new network card and then everything will work. Is that another? Oh, remote lock. Ah, network. Okay. Weird behavior. Wait, 1987? An email from 1987? Yep, internet back then? We've received new orders which confirms that priority should be focused on weaponizing the artifact and not utilizing it as a source of power. We've arranged a conference tomorrow at 9 in the auditorium. Notify all the department heads that attendance is mandatory. We'll focus on what steps need to be taken in light of this new direction and discuss the reallocation of resources and or personnel to different projects if needed. This is so long ago. Have you noticed anything strange about Alan recently? I caught him staring at the artifact multiple times from the observation dock deck for several minutes at a time, almost as if in a trance. He wouldn't respond to anything I said to him, and I had to physically shake him to snap him out of it. Do you think he's getting affected the same way Keith did? Hmm. All right, all right, all right. This looks important. Strange pattern to have on a server rack. I agree. But what's it for? I have no idea. What did I pick up? Lighter fluid? What needs lighting? Might be just for later when we heat up the flask. Ah, uh, okay, I need to attach it with a hose. This is all I have. I must have missed a ton. So section one has the auditorium, the server room. So we went into lab one, chemical storage, server room. Have I been here? I don't think so. Another cave in. Lab two, doors locked. Access must be controlled remotely. So that's what I need the network card for. Auditorium? Oh, and we need this, yeah. Right, this is blocked off. And this we need the asset for, okay. Uh, what are we trying to do? Is the calculator for something? Oh, I see what you're trying to do, but... 
Isn't this just a calculator? Okay, so. That's that one. The second one is right. It's gonna be two. Third one is two bars, four. Fourth one is just a corner. Okay, times. Left. Uh, upper. Not that one. Minus? Right corner. And you. Is. 7409. Okay. So would that be for the... How do you know what that's for? How do you connect those two? <laughs> and this. Is this what this goes to? <gasps> it is. Rusty nails and old dried up paint cans. Old but sturdy crowbar. Oh, I got a crowbar. I didn't even see it. Wait, oh, uh, what did I have to screw loose? I have no idea. The crowbar was for the auditorium. That I remember. Nice. What's that? Suction cups. Hmm. Projector isn't turning on. I must be missing something. Hey, is that a network card? Ooh! 9413. Hmm. Okay. What else? Boat? Is that a picture of my boat? Seeing how desolate this place is now, it's hard to imagine a facility bustling with people. Yeah. Is there anything? Any details? Hmm. Old projector room comfort clearly wasn't a top priority when designing the area. Okay, that's pretty good that we have this. Now where did I need screws? Oh god. Oh, there. I only remembered it was a long time ago. Car battery. Ooh. We're gonna charge up that slide. Thing. Ooh, the suction cups might be good for the chemical tank that we're trying to open. <sighs> oh, noise. Granules of potassium. Hmm. Okay. Let's head for... 9413. Which room is that? Well, let's head for the server room now. Put in the network card. Yeah, that's how that works. Unlock. Okay. Now let's actually check what the door in the back was. Oh, that must have been 9413, but we just couldn't see it. That's handy. Three and four. Okay, we have one to four now. Oh, nice hose. Wee, 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 wee. Wee, wee. I don't know what this for. Okay, cool. A lot of engineering equipment. Unfortunately, most of it looks either defective or impractical. That's handy. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Need 
need to figure out how to turn the microscope on. <laughs> yeah, that would be handy. Okay, the on button doesn't work. I've tried turning it on and off again. Do I still have that screwdriver? Oh, I like these puzzles though. Okay. Hmm. Could be that. Oh yeah, this one goes here first. Hmm. Maybe this one goes... nope. This blue one has to... ah, okay. But then the green one's in trouble. That still works. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's just figure out green first, yeah. Hmm, it goes nowhere. Okay, where is it going? Jeez. Uh-huh. I think red has to go under here. Green can only come from here. <sighs> Same problem. Or is it? Haha! I think. Isn't that it? Yeah, it's working. Oh. Ah. So what am I gonna do with this information? One is the blue cells. Two is the pink. Three is purple. And oh, I can just do that. Four is green. Okay. That Allen key. I forget what I can unlock. The chemical unit. Okay, thank you. I forgot where I could use it. It's this door thing. There we go. Oh, what is this? What do we want? The samples? Oh, so that? So blue is one, then purple three then pink two and then green four so we want one one three two four okay which is impossible yeah one three two four that's what i said Oh, I can rotate it? Oh. Okay. Oh, this is so weird to look at. One, three, two, four. Yeah, that's it. One, three, two, four. Ah! Ugh. Vanadium oxide, glucose. Canister is unlabeled. Very dangerous, though. 
Okay, well, I got something. Okay, I have like three things, I think. Let's see. Ethanol, glucose, and potassium. Vanadium? Which one's that? That's the catalyst. Okay. So we add that one last. Glucose. Car battery. Glucose and potassium. 200 grams. How do I get ethanol? Ah, <laughs> smart. Not enough. Too much. <laughs> there. So how do I pick this up? Oh, okay. Now we have 200 grams exactly. That's good. Oh, right, there's this still. One of them must be in here. I think the oscilloscope is linked to this. Perhaps I should try solving that first. Oscilloscope? Was that the weird wee -woo thing? <laughs> is this an oscilloscope? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is those points. But how do I solve this? Server room? Really? God, if it wasn't for these hints, I would be so lost. Where can we see something like that? <gasps> there. Is that the settings I need to keep? Wait, I can take a picture. That might be it. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six, four, five, two. Six, four, five, two. So that might be the solution. So one, two, three, four from the top. Four, five, seven, five, one, two. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's try that. I had not put two or two together. Lab. Flammable. Okay. Four, five, seven, five, one, two, Seven, eight. Yes! Okay, now we can mix it. Mix ethanol, glucose, and potassium. Boil. Okay. That's not it. Glucose, potassium, boil. I'm assuming it turns off on its own. Chemical mixture, okay. Cannot turn it off? I don't want to leave a flame like that. Uh, add the catalyst to the chemical solution in a well-ventilated area. That good? Flask of acid, baby. Oh, there it is. Yes, how very hoggy. Wow, straight through the middle. 
Mm hmm. Oh, you can go to the back here. Ooh, no batteries though. Hmm. Nothing else? Patient files, medical reports, nothing reveals what happened here. Nothing else? Hmm. Oh, haha. <laughs> I need to delete some pictures again. Did that. We did that. These are handy. Did that. Okay. And what's this? Hmm. I need to find a pattern. Projector slide. Ooh, yeah. Grizzly detail of a medical procedure. Alan Fletcher, senior researcher. Subject entered through containment field, ignored numerous orders to step back and approach dangerously close to the artifact. Shortly after, the power levels of the anomaly spiked, causing mass destruction to a surrounding area. A witness described him carrying an object with him at the time. What the object was remains unknown. At first, injuries resembled severe radiation damage, despite no traces of measurable radiation being emitted from the anomaly. Shortly after, small black patches started materializing in various locations on subject's skin and are quickly growing in size even as I write this. The cause of the pa patches aren't known. However, they appear pitch black, almost as if they absorb all light. That might be what we've been seeing. Emergency operation has been ordered immediately to surgically remove the patches. Oh, and how did that go? <laughs> Probably not that good, huh? Okay, this might come back later. I should just take a picture. Okay, and then the bottom, the dippy toes. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad, right? I feel like I've done this exact puzzle. Do they all have to line up? Oh no, I guess not. They can't all line up. This is too far off. We need something here. Or like that. Ooh, this one. Yeah. Look at that. That's a good one. Too bad it doesn't work for the other side. <laughs> That was difficult. Spray bottle of industrial strength cleaning solution. Another slide. Wait, what's so dirty that needs cleaning? I forget. Oh, six. One. I probably need more x-rays. Oh! What? Latex gloves and medical bandages. What happened? Are they in a different dimension? <laughs> so is this what we're cleaning? <laughs> ah, the buttons! <laughs> okay. Let's pull back for now. Uh, to the front desk. So, left, top, left, right. 
right, right, up, down. That should be it. Now what's in here? Ooh, two more. I can't read anything. Nancy, please place Nancy extra images and order them as follows. Radio, radius, cranium, fibula. Okay. Radius. Radius. Cranium. Fibula. Thorax. Radius. Arm. Um... So this one first. Cranium, that's the head, isn't it? Yeah. Then the fibula, the fib fib, shins. And then lastly, the thorax. So the ribs. Okay, so six, nine, one, four. Four, whatever that is for. God, I don't even know where we had any code that I needed to put in. I haven't even been here to ventilation. Aha, <laughs> is that it? It is. <laughs> oh, hey, there's more. Water flammable. Hmm. Stick these out. So the pipes are next to each other. Okay. Ventilation room. I suppose air doesn't stay fresh for long this far underground. Ventilation unit letting out musty air into the room. Something stuck in the vent. By the looks of it, someone unsuccessfully tried to retrieving it. Another slide. Okay, I think it's gonna be time to fix that slide soon. That slide projector. Wherever it was. God, it feels like forever ago. Section one? No, that's where I came from. Mm, I have a flashlight without any batteries. It must have been section one then. I just don't remember where in section one. Was it through the auditorium? Oh, it was. So can I move these? Okay. Wait. Mm, okay. Well, wait. The green one is. The green one's like this. Maybe the first one is like a diversion? No, because we also have these. Oh god. How does that work? Maybe this is bottom and this is top? Yellow, green, red. Yeah. And then top is blue, green, red, red, green, red. Yeah, this might be right. It's working, isn't it? Yeah, I did it. Okay. Oh god, and I can only put in one slide at a time. That was blue. Green. Okay. And then we have... Yellow. Which might be upside down. <laughs> I'm a little tired from puzzling for so long, so I'm going to take a picture and just turn it upside down. <laughs> I 
feel like I saw that door ages ago. It's not down here. But it has to be in section one, right? Here. Okay, so if I'm right, this should be full. These. And these. Yeah! Oh, we're in this room now! Wow! Okay. <gasps> A key! I've achieved the first task set out for me. As instructed, I took the sample from the abandoned mines and brought it near the artifact. Oh. Although the smaller fragment had broken off long ago, it reattached itself to the larger piece and merged back together, as if the two pieces had never been separate. What happened next I can only speculate since I blacked out shortly afterwards. Literally. <laughs> the artifact's power levels must have spiked, causing mass devastation to the surrounding structure and its personnel. An emergency surgical procedure was ordered to try and save me from my physical injuries. However, I was quickly called off following an immediate evacuation order of the entire facility. No matter, my physical condition is of no concern in light of the final task set out for me. I locked myself in this room and the sounds of commotion outside had stopped for some time ago. Whether they managed to escape, I don't know and is frankly of no concern to me. I now see the red-eyed being not just when I close my eyes but in the real world as well. Whether he's only present in a reflection or standing right next to me, he's always here now, whispering to me. I'm honored to be the one chosen to fulfill his final request. Damn. Ooh, batteries! Let's go! <gasps> now we can explore the dark corridor. Finally. Um, let's see... That was way out. That was like... Here, section three. Oh, yes! Oh, I still have the slides on me. Military wing. Rebar looks fairly weak, but still much too strong for me to move. Can we go left? Radioactive substance presumably moves through these pipes. Hmm. Lab 8. Okay. Colors. My head is killing me right now, but I feel that it's important to write this down. At around 10 p.m. at night, I was working on some things I wanted to finish before getting to bed. I was alone in the lab at this time when the door behind me opened, and as I turned around to see who was up this late, someone in a hazmat suit was quickly rushing towards me. I staggered backward and asked what was going on, but before he even said a word, he swung a heavy object at me and knocked me out. I awoke some time later to a sh soldier shaking me stating that we're under an emergency evacuation of the island. He said to quickly gather all documents and then to meet at the entrance to section one in no more than half an hour. As I began picking everything up, I noticed that one of the containment chambers was swa smashed with what was in sight now missing. What concerns me is that this was the chamber that held the fragment that was recently transported here from the mines for further testing. I presume that the man in the hazmat suit knocked me out and stole the fragment from the chamber, not a very difficult endeavor considering the fragment was powered off at the moment. But what use could we had for st could he had for stealing it? Is he responsible for the chaos? Yeah. So whatever entity he was seeing instructed him to steal the artifact and then reunite it with the other piece. Do we need a... Hmm. Ah, colors, yellow. Well, they're all yellow. Maybe we should just make everything yellow. The artifact, plutonium, uranium, hmm. This report will briefly, briefly describe what we know about the artifact as of November 1996. We provide a hypothesis that closely conforms to our advanced understanding of nuclear and particle physics and explains many of the physical phenomena displayed by the artifact. 
Modifications to fundamental physical law may be necessary in light of recent observations. The artifact, a colloquial name for a source of the disturbances on the island located here, likely emerged from deep outer space many years ago. While the age isn't exactly known, it likely fell to Earth as a meteor in 1865 based on numerous eyewitness reports. Oh... Since the Flare Project first started measuring the energy emitted from the artifact in 1977, the power levels have been steadily rising. As such, the primary objective of this project has changed over the years. The original objective was first to contain the anomaly, then find out how to utilize the emitting energy, later on to turn it into a military weapon, and finally, in response to the rising levels, shut it down. As best as we can tell, the artifact is made up of super heavy element, heavier than any known element that has been synthesized to date. Although the stability of super heavy elements greatly decreases as their atomic numbers increase, there exists an exception to this rule where elements with atomic numbers between 110 and 20 are predicted to be extremely stable at certain isotopes. As such, we theorize that the atomic number of this element is anywhere between the range of 110 to 20, considerably heavier than that of uranium used as fuel. Many of the unusual properties of the artifact are therefore a result of super heavy yet stable nature of the element. Emission of radiation via a new theori theoretical particle that we are only beginning to examine. This new particle appears dark red to the naked eye despite not being light. Considerable effort went into the development of a device capable of measuring this particle. A large emission of energy that while rising over a long time period is very stable. Okay, this is now going over my head. Physical objects don't interact. Living entities always seem to disappear. Not known where to. The origin of the artifact before falling to Earth isn't known. However, the most agreed upon theory is that it was formed through an extremely high energy event from outer space, such as a supernova or a gamma ray burst. This is the most likely postulate as these high energy events are known to create trace amounts of heavy elements such as uranium. The theory of its creation by an extraterrestrial intelligence has also been discussed at length, and although this theory is the least popular, it hasn't been ruled out. As for the source of energy emission, a possible explanation is that the artifact functions as a gateway to another location in space, such as in the popular Warhol theory. That's what I was thinking, maybe the rat and the spider have gone to the alien planet. This would explain how power is emanating from apparently nowhere. Perhaps this unique radiation isn't emitting from within the anomaly itself, but from elsewhere, and the artifact is simply a doorway funneling energy from this alternate location. But if only live things can go through, does that mean you're naked on the other side? This would also explain the disappearance of the living test subjects, however wouldn't explain why these disappearances are unique to animate entities. These new findings suggest that amendments to the current physical law must be made in order to explain certain phenomena observed. Our understanding of the artifact is greater than ever, however, there's still much that we don't understand at this moment. Although the potential for good is very high, the potential for destruction is just as high, if not higher. These new findings, in addition to the continual rise in energy levels, further reinforce our need for a safe way to shut down this anomaly. Yeah, I wonder what happened to it in the end something blasted out of that um, main door and why is that happening so now we saw him stealing the part of the artifact old Geiger counter let's try and just make everything yellow It might be that I have to go to the location of the pictures to actually confirm the color. Is a locker? A random barrel? We haven't even gone down the hall yet. Well, the barrel is definitely yellow. There's the case, I think. Hmm. Oh, I can move these. I wonder why. 
The flashlight sh um, casts such a cool, like, uncanny light on everything. Ah! Okay, so it's like king, queen, or ace, maybe? But we're missing a card then, right? Okay, what else is here? Safe? Needs electricity. Ooh, battery. I have one. But we need something else. Hmm. Okay, it's so quiet here. Oh, maybe... Ah! Okay, I got it. Um, so barrel is purple. The case is yellow. Gotcha. Red. And the last one was the suit, the discarded suit, right? Orange. Okay, now I just need to know what order they need to be in. So... Barrel is top right. This is middle. This is bottom. And this is left. Okay. Should be able to open it now. So yellow, orange, purple, and red. Yeah! A large jack? We're taking the whole thing? Huh. Do I need to- oh! Maybe we can use it here. Sweet! Oh, chess game. So creepy! Middle of a chess game. Hard to know who's winning. I'll take a picture of it, but... I honestly don't really know what I'm looking for. Whoa! Completely caved in behind here. So this is just for the chess game. And I still have a key, too. There's an item I missed past the rub. Oh my god, thank you so much for telling me! But what is it? Do you want to take a piece? What are we missing? Oh, a cart! Ah! Oh! I think I might have to... Maybe the chess game coincides with the card game? Okay, so we have these. King, queen. Ace. Okay, and the horse. The red horse? Is G5? But what about the order? This is a king, right? H2. We can rearrange them however we like. Oh, right. There's this as well. It's the order. Is this one... Hearts... Diamond in the back. Okay, so that's the order. Now their positions are... E1 tower. The red horse was g5. The king is on h6 and the red queen on d5. I think that's the solution. I feel very smart. Big brain. 
e1, g5, h6, and d5. Oh my god! The brain, it works! Still not opening? It's not? Oh, I need to do a thing. Oh, I need to connect all this. Oh, I see. There's like little... Pathways. This one has a lot. Can I turn them? Hmm, that one fits there, but... Oh, that's... Good. How is this working? What? Oh, they all, these three need to be filled. Oh, so this one needs to work as well. Well, that's one. Or this one. Yeah, that one's better. Okay. Oh, that's two. This is perfect, but this isn't. Hmm. I wonder if I can swap something. That seems great. Hmm. And that seems good. Yeah, there. What's the alternative? Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Now it works. Yeah! Another key? Oh, right, I need a two. Oh, I totally forgot. We can go all the way back. Ooh, to here. Pop those babies in. How do I do it both at the same time? Oh, there. Oh, here we go. It's opening. Exciting. <laughs> okay. Ooh, everyone fleeing. So this is where they kept the anomaly, huh? There we go. Just in case. Hmm. Oh, this place is big. Wait, don't I have a map of this? Military wing, that's where we were. Is it this? Maybe? I actually don't know. Catlock doesn't look very strong. I may be able to break it off with the right tool. Okay. Wow. Can we see the artifact from here? Oh! <gasps> wow. We're finally seeing it. After so long. A ladle. Hazard sign. Hmm. Okay. 
Maybe we need to find a couple of those. What's this case? Oh, one of those. Okay. So each button changes it. <laughs> Not too bad. Another one. That looks about right. I feel like I need another one, but... Who knows? Mm, something useful in there. Do I have a key? Hit it with the ladle. Door opens. Hmm. It's not opening, even though the emergency already happened. Hatch door isn't budging. What's going on here? Hot steam blocks the way. How very hoggy. And what is this one? Dangerous steam. The chlor chloroxyl. I'll take a picture. Oh, wait. This one. Circle. Skull. What about the steam? I don't see a name on that. Um. What kind of doors do we have? That one just needs a key. That one can probably be broken. With the ladle? No. Nothing in this corner. Right. I should probably take a picture of this just in case. I feel like... Nah, we probably need one more, right? But you never know. Anywhere else I haven't looked. This looks so cool. I can't wait to approach it. I don't know if I read this. The latest tests and measurements from March 1997 reinforce our need to find a safe way to shut down the artifact. The average energy levels rose by 1.82% this month alone. My team and I have made strong progress with regards to the shutdown protocol and the effort from the biology, chemistry, and engineering teams have been... Invaluable in our search. One second. God do the lippies. Based on current projections, it is estimated that the anomaly will reach a critical level around the year 2022. Oh my god, that was two years ago. While this gives us many years of preparation, powering it down as soon as possible is still in our best interest, as the energy levels have been known to be volatile at times. A critical level will first amount to local devastation of the island, but will ultimately become much more severe if left unchecked. Although what exactly would happen in such a scenario isn't known, a worldwide calamity would likely ensue, ensue and cause mass extin extinction all around the Earth. While we're scheduled for another shutdown attempt in two weeks, I'm requesting to postpone this until after we examine the new fragment that will be transported here tomorrow. Oh. Studying it could prove crucial in our attempts in powering down the source, and based on Atkins' description on th of the sample, might be the key in doing so. I will present these findings in more detail during our monthly conference on April 10th. Until we study this new fragment, I strongly advise storing this new sample far from the main source. Not much is known about this new element, and it would be sensible to take every precaution. <laughs> far away. Let's put it both in Lambda site. Okay, well, that's everything I could find here, I think. So that's here. For some reason, this isn't opening. Uh huh. Oh, that's from the picture we took. But that can't be everything, right?
We can try. <gasps> it does work! Ooh, hammer. Nice. That would probably work on the glass, right? Need a safe way to retrieve liquid nitrogen. A ladle. <laughs> Very safe. <laughs> um, let's see if the hammer works. Nice. Do you want to... Oh, I think it's gone already. It's going to put it in the... Wait, do you want to hammer the other side? No, not necessary. Okay. Ooh, would the hammer work on the lock? Hammer alone won't be enough here. I'll need to weaken the padlock first. Ooh, the nitrogen! Oh! Okay. So if I put it in here... Nice, that works. Okay, 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 cool. So, we go to the lock. Pour this over, and then smash it. Piping shut off. Okay, what was this? Circle skull? Oh, I need a color too. Green. Shut that down. Does that work? Is that it? Yeah, nice! What do we got? Another key? What does it say on it? The lab key. Books and papers, nothing informative on them. Entire corridor section ahead caved in. There's no chance of getting past. Okay, I have another key. And I wonder, wait. Propane. Is this propane? Maybe I should try and shut that down red fire diamond let's see if that worked I think it did nice we're getting closer now remote It's been almost a full day since I succeeded in my first task. Looking at the artifact again fills me with a feeling that's difficult to put into words. I think rapture comes close. I realize now what my final task is, to disable an evil device intended to annihilate the source. He tells me this is the last thing I need to do and that no one else can stop it after I succeed. Before they left, the others refer to the incident as a disaster or calamity, but they are all wrong. Salvation is a more appropriate term. Cool. That's so cool. Anything else here? Oop, oops. I don't think so. We just got the remote. So there is a way to shut it down. Anything else here? So we have a key. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There was a locked door, wasn't there? Here. Nice. Ooh, system status. Facility power output 9%, communication, network online. Emergency? No. So we need to set it to emergency to open it, right? Although I don't know if we want that. Time until calamity, 130 days. Oh, we have time. First time online, 1976. 77, finished construction of device that can estimate power output. 1978, finished construction of containment field, show, showing strong results. 82, experimentation. Oh, I can move it. Now directed towards extracting power from an artifact rather than containing it. Power surge detected, 85. Energy levels are still currently within green. 87, all tests directed at power extraction have failed. 
87, with support from military experimentation now directed towards weaponizing the artifact. 91, minor development achieved. Ah. 95, due to the upward trend in energy levels, focus has shifted on shutting it down. Then a couple of months later, shutdown attempt 1 failed, 2 failed, 3 failed, 4 failed. Until April 1997, major development reached in the shutdown protocol. New tests have proven to effectively lower the energy of the artifact. New shutdown attempt will be initiated soon. Hmm. Okay. Latest log. Something catastrophic just happened. I was running some tests in section 3 when I heard a loud rumbling resonate throughout the hallways. Rushing back to the observation deck, I noticed that the artifact power levels had surged, resulting in severe destruction. Peering out the window, I noticed a group of people in hazmat suits dragging someone across the bridge away from the source. I don't know what happened, but code 10 has just been issued and everyone and the military is gathering everyone for immediate evacuation from the island. I want to initiate a new shutdown protocol. However, the soldiers say there's no time and that the military will deal with the anomaly. I have an idea of what they mean by that. Hmm. ID code for shutdown needed. I don't think I have anything. Okay. So we're going to try and shut this down somehow. It seems to be the only security, working security monitor. We can't control it. Seven twenty P. Thirty FPS. Oh, do I have the remote? Ah. Five seven two one eight. See if there's anything else. Follow the blood. Uh, nothing. Oh, we can go way up. No, looks like that's it. Five, seven, two, one, eight. Okay. Could that be the ID? Probably not. It is! Okay, manual calibration is required. How do I do it? Oh! Oh, ah! oh, that is so difficult. Okay, to start is easier. Okay, just have to not panic click. Which I just did. Oh! Are you sure you want to initiate shutdown? Yes. Oh, I can't look away from the screen. Temperature is dropping, maybe? Power is definitely going down. Do you think that has multiple endings? Well, this potentially save the earth, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Power surge detected. What's gonna happen? Oh that's so cool. Big explosion. Is 
So it doesn't like being shut down. I can, I can relate. <laughs> what happened? Is it still just hanging out there? Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> can you imagine? There's a fire in your office and this is how you're going to have to get out. Wait, wouldn't it have to slot back? Oh well. This must be the worst designed fire extinguisher cabinet I've ever seen! <laughs> I was saying that! <laughs> That's amazing that they put that in. Ah, I think I got myself stuck. Okay, let's go back. Reverse. Yeah, if I could just get this one there. Like that. Okay, that should be good. I don't know how far out it has to come. Hmm, all the way, huh? Well, not all the way, because I guess this one can't go further than that. So it just has to go here. Okay. Which means this piece has to be at the bottom. Hmm. Like that? That's good, right? Oh, nice. Okay, good. Now, what is actually going on here? I can't... Critical system failure. Okay. Can we go to it now? Oh, more stuff collapsed. The military. Do you think it's gonna take us to a different dimension? Oh, isn't this... No, my camera's broken. He's so broken. Oh, there's another one here. Could it just be this one? Like one, two, three, cabinet one, two, three. Could be. Dotted line, that's a dotted line. Oh, it circles in the middle, yeah. But there's something on the outside? It might be the thing from the separate room. Yeah. So this one. Okay, let me... Gear. Outside. This outside. And four knobbies. And three knobbies. This one. Okay, now what's the other ones? Um, this is a vague drawing. Okay, so this one is that with that, I think. Um, that one 
combined with that and four nubbies with that. Let's get dressed. Do you think it's going to take us to an alien planet? How do I get in? <laughs> that is so cool. So it's just been sitting here, getting stronger and stronger. What's that device next to it? Uh -uh. Gotta go! Oh no! Don't fall! I was like, you're gonna make that. It's not that far. Oh, you have a suitcase. Oh, that's your inventory! No! My trusty inventory. I guess my camera broke and didn't eat those slides or samples. Come on, dude. You can do it. Oh my god. Oh! Shadow Man! Where is he? How? High explosive. The military was just gonna blow it up. That is so cool. I don't want to get too close to it though. Oh yeah, the military was just gonna blow it up. Oh my god. <laughs> this Oh, it's only twisties. Okay. Where okay, so this one needs to go to two of these. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh I can slide these. What a luxury. There. Did I do it? 52. Well, I'm not making it out then. Ooh, or set the explosive and touch it. See where it takes us. Do it. Touch it. Touch the big rock. You got nothing to lose. I mean, so are these people that got infected with the black stuff, but they still kind of exist in a way in this dimension? I would so touch it. <laughs> You're gonna die anyway. <laughs> Too curious. Is it gonna take us somewhere? Just don't. Oh no, the bomb is inanimate, so. Ah. Either... Oh, wait. Aww, we back home. Mm-hmm, <laughs> this feels like so long ago.
I wonder how suddenly this anomaly showed up for him. Oh, it stopped. We fixed it. We shut it down. The end. Wait, so does that mean we just died with the bomb and the anomaly? I really thought it was gonna like transport us, like how the spider and the mouse disappeared. I really thought that we were gonna be teleported and then the next games would have been on an alien planet. That would have been so cool. <laughs> I really thoroughly enjoyed these games though. I need to check if they did anything else after Meridian. But I understand ending it here, I guess. It's just a little sad ending. Maybe I should check if there's multiple endings, just in case. Oh, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much for playing our games. It's been a wild ride and we couldn't have made it without your support. We hope you enjoyed playing through the series as much as we enjoyed making it and are looking forward to having you along in the next adventure. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed these games. I'm so glad someone recommended these after I played the facility 47 because that was really fun too i love these games these are perfect they're like spooky atmosphere but really like good puzzles really make you think kind of like a hog but not really it has the same point and click kind of energy but much better atmosphere and no hidden object screens if you have anything that is like with similar vibes gameplay puzzles let me know because this was amazing I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole ride, all the chapters. We've come to an end, unfortunately, but it's nice to finish it up as well. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and thank you so much for watching.